Let me go to Ronald. Ronald calling us from Texas. Hey, Ronald. Hey, uh, Dan. Um, I'm calling on behalf of a uh, issue. Um, by the way, I didn't know all that. And, uh, thank you for sharing that with us. Sure. Um, but uh, my my question is is that um, my son just inherited a, a trust fund, uh-huh. and um, I'm not sure what right I have as a parent to either invest or put into another trust or I'm just I'm just trying to figure out what steps that I need to take to okay. secure his fund. How how old is he? Three. And are you named as the fiduciary, uh, the one responsible for the financial side of that trust? Or is there a trust company named? Do you know that? Uh, uh, no, I don't know that. Okay. So as someone that used to own a trust company and, you know, I had hundreds and hundreds of millions that I managed in this, I would, and, and settle a lot of these, you got to, you got to kind of find out how the trust reads. So if you are obviously his guardian, which you are, you're obviously his guardian. It doesn't necessarily give you the fiduciary it's called um, responsibility for the overseeing and the financial management, the financial investments, and whether he should get any money. So um, you need to find out if it was left to a bank trust company or some other trust company that is doing that. And then anything that happens with that trust is going to be on on them. You can make suggestions to them, and they can listen to you or they cannot listen to you, but you can at least make suggestions to them. They would have obligations if uh, something happened to your son where he had some sort of uh, health issue and he needed money for that health issue, then they would be under obligation to make sure that he had that money for his, well, usually under obligation, it would be rare if he did, they didn't, to pay for that. Um, you know, maybe he had a, uh, something debilitating and he needed to, uh, he was going to be um, in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. And uh, you needed to renovate your home uh, to, to accommodate that. That would be money that the trust company should be able to give you to do that because it's for his benefit. So it's really hard to say uh, trust documents can be very complicated uh, and you really need to uh, look at the documents. You can't say there's no such thing as, hey, this guy's got a trust. My son's got a trust. He just inherited a trust. So since he's got this trust that he just inherited, what are my rights? Because your rights, everybody's rights are different because they're dictated inside the trust document. And there's no set rules for that. It can be whatever, whoever set the trust up, uh, what they decided, um, you know, when they drafted it up. So you need to find out what it looks like. See if you can get a copy of it uh, or find out who the trustee is. That money has to be somewhere. So wherever it is, they're likely the fiduciary. And you need to talk to them and see what you can find out. But you should be able to get a copy of the trust document. Because a lot of times trust documents also have a replacement provision. So if you don't feel this trust company is managing things well, one of the things I always did just because I always felt like I'm not going to be around forever, uh, when I did a trust, I always put a fee ceiling on it so fees could never be higher than something. And people used to say, well, that affects you. You're, you're getting the fee. I said, I understand that, but I don't want this to I don't want this to go 50 years and I'm no longer here and somebody just kills it in fees. Or uh, a lot of times, you know, it, it'll have a transfer provision. All of my trust always had a transfer pre- uh, provision. You could take it anywhere you wanted. If you wanted to say, hey, I want to move it over to this trust company or this bank or this person, you have the right to do that.
But that was rare. Most trusts aren't written that way. So you need to find out how the trust is written first and who has it. Well, thank you. Okay. Thanks, Ronald. All right. Great question. I appreciate that. I know that helps a lot of people.